I'm sorry, but this looks so good in person. It's probably hard to tell on camera, but I love it. Anyway, welcome back to Unloved JDM's channel. And today we are stripping down the engine to get that ready to go back in that car. Now, for anybody who doesn't remember what I've said about this, this is the issue. The crane catcher that walks backwards and forwards, and that's quite a bit. Um, reason we got here, just to recap on it, is because the rear main seal is leaking and quite badly as well. So it was like, if I don't do that, I'll never investigate what's going on with it. So I pulled the engine out. This is how the whole thing started. Pulled the engine out, checked it over, found that, and then put it to the back of the list. So next job we're going to do is we're going to strip all the stuff off the engine, then get the heads off it, and then get the block itself um, off the stand on the table and split the block into two halves and then go from there. So, better do it. Okay, so things have advanced quite a lot. So all the pistons are narrow, which are not very easy to do on a super engine. And we've now got the engine on the table, and I think I've taken all the case bolts out to split it into two halves. So I now just need to figure out one if I'm right if they're all out, and two actually split it. So this could be a little bit tricky, but we'll see. There's the half, and my concern is either this rear bearing is excessively worn, or it's taking the crankshaft with it. Could be both. Well, I think it's safe to say that we definitely need another crank and then we can start rebuilding the whole craziness as well as obviously head gaskets, all the seals in between, all that kind of stuff as well. So um, I'm going to speak to Import Car Parts, see if we can put a deal together and get everything from them. And then we can start reassembling this whole massive pile of bits and then get it back in there and then get that going because we've not got many days now. So that is it for this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe because next time we're either... At Depending on which way this works out, we're either going to get the sills welded up on there, which I've already started on a few months ago, uh, or we put the, put the bay back together, or deal with this, depends what order things happening. But never mind, make sure you subscribe and you'll see all of it no matter what. And hopefully, we'll actually see you at the meet soon, as well as her being there as well. So fingers crossed, we never, uh, never give up that easy. Right, thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe, see you again soon.